He was the man who dared to have a dream. And today we celebrate the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Brooke is joining us from King Solomon Baptist Church where community leaders are kicking off a day of events around Louisville, Brooke. Yeah, just behind me, we've got brunch already set up for several hundred people who are going to be here, more than a thousand coming in and out throughout the day, that day of service. We've already been kicking off that week into last week, but I want to get to Bishop Lyons. He was actually here for the very first day that we celebrated MLK Junior Day with the motorcade and everything some 50 years ago. Yes, uh, it was uh, 1972, 50 years ago when we kicked this uh, rally and motorcade uh, off. And it's a privilege to be able to know that we are going to do the same thing today. We're inviting everybody to come out at 9 o'clock uh, for a prayer. And then uh, we're going to walk down to 28th and Broadway and start the motorcade, which is going to go uh, throughout the community to let the community know that we still are carrying out the dream of Dr. King. All right, Misha and Daniels, with God's Lives Matter here, we've talked to you before about this. If Dr. King were still present with us today, which he is in so many ways, but if he were alive today, what would he say or feel with the life that we've been living? You know, I looked at a video. Uh, they talked about two Americas, and uh, that's why I was inspired about the idea that I believe Martin Luther King was specifically talk about re remove color and try to bring us together, make us that one nation uh, working together, you know, that former slave owners and descendants of slaves where we are all working together to accomplish that thing that we call America. And I think that God's lives matter, make America greater than it's ever been. Those are the type of things that I, I am certain as uh, Martin Luther King would be excited to call himself an American descendants of slave, proud to be here in America doing the things that we need to be doing today. And there are so many activities that we're able to do today. Even with COVID, some things have been virtual, but I want to put up those slides to show you. Everything really kicks off around 9 o'clock uh, this morning. And then you've got the 930 motorcade, as we mentioned, at Kroger and uh, Broadway and 28th. It's going to take you pretty much a all the way through town. Back here around 1030 at King Solomon for uh, a number of speeches. A lot of people expected to attend that service, followed by that brunch happening at noon. You can already smell a cook in here at King Solomon, and we'll be back in the next half hour with more guys.